What's up guys? So we got a box here in the shop. I'll show you what's in here. Got a new deal of cow brush. So on our freestyle barn, we have four groups. Three of them have a brush already. Still need one for the last group. We're gonna get this out here today and install it. Just gotta look at the manual here a little bit, figure out what we need to mount it, and then we'll take it out. Let's see what all we got here. What's in here? We're ready to take this out now. Got some things here, rope and bolts. Dad got some more tools. He's heading out with the Kubota. Pen 2 here is the only group that doesn't have a brush. The plan is to hang it here at this end so it's out of the way because we come in with the skid loader to bed and we put it down here, we don't have to worry about running into it. I'll show you the other three brushes that we have here. The one in pen 1 we've had for about five years, I would say. This one here has the two brushes that spin, so they just have to come up and lift it a little bit. It starts going. They seem to like the top one a lot more than the side one. They do use both, but they really like that top one on their backbone. And then two or three years ago, we got these two Lily brushes, one right there, and another one here. We actually like these ones. These are a little simpler design. They just have to start swinging them back and forth, and then they'll soon kick on once the cow starts messing with it. They'll just start spinning like that. And almost every cow, you can see if they're on their backs, they're cleaned off, so they love using these things. We're just gonna figure out where we wanna mount it. To know what height to mount the brush, we need to measure a few of the cows to get the average height. We're gonna bring the brush in here. With the skid loader, it's kinda heavy to carry. This thing weighs about 150 pounds, so it's heavy enough for two guys. We can carry it, but... We cut the top of this board off to the right height that the bottom of this bracket needs to sit right here so that'll be nice and we just gotta get holes drilled and get the lags and bolts through the post we got this rope around that beam it's gonna help us hold it up This bracket here needs to be removed at some point. We're gonna take it off now. Then we'll be able to get it into place and get the bolts in. We got it in place here, I got one lag in. Uh, we're going to put another lag in and then we're going to try to get some longer bolts in here as well the whole way through the post. Haven't you guys seen a skid loader before? Come on, get out of here. Come on girls. Get away from the skid loader. What are you doing? You can see the difference in the design of this brush. So it'll 
swing back and forth this way. And then this bracket here needs to be removed once we have it done. And the whole thing will swing side to side as well. She gets underneath it, she can push it up and it'll brush right on top of her back like the other ones do. Or it can stay on the side like this. Don't even got the thing set up and they're already putting it to use. What do you think, huh? You gonna make more milk? Come on guys, just give me a few minutes here. So we got some bolts through here. It's nice and sturdy, two on the bottom, two on the top. Just need to mount this bracket that has a switch on it and then we need to wire it up. It just runs to 110, so we're gonna plug it in over there, have an extension cord, and we're just gonna bring it over the top and wire it into this box here. So I'm on top of the door here. Brushes down there, we got an extension cord I'm just running across to the electric outlet that's down here. Right, it's wired up, plugged it in. There we go. Nice and quiet. All right, who wants to try it? So these brushes are nice just because it gives the cows something to do. They like them, makes them feel better. And you know the happy cows make more milk. So that's the idea. Uh, it helps keep them clean. And they it's just something for them to do if they get bored or whatever. I think it just helps keep them comfortable. I always like seeing them go to the brush. Most of the animals in this group don't know about it yet. So I'll have to come back later and see what's going on. It is the next day now. So anytime I've been looking out here, there's always a cow messing with it. Someone's always running. So I think I like this brush more than the other ones we have. I just like that it can kind of get the side of the cow and they can flip it up and it can get on top of them too, however they move it. And the other thing I like about it is whenever they push into it, there's a lot of play either way and they're not really pushing against the post. So the one brush we have over there, if the cow is really ramming into it, it's actually putting a lot of weight on the post and shaking everything around. But this one, if they hit it, it just gives you their way. 
with the bearing right here and also the swivel up there so all right thanks for watching guys i am going to uh see you guys later